Law enforcement is alert tonight for what many say could be an exceptionally dangerous weekend on the road. Extra troopers, deputies, and officers are looking for the most dangerous drivers during the next 48 hours as holiday parties get into full swing. Good evening, everyone. A nationwide effort is underway right now to make sure those celebrations don't lead to tragedy. Nine on your side's Evan Miller joins us live with the extra safety precautions. Evan. I-75 here in this 11 o'clock hour finally starting to slow down, but it's been steady all day. And there are troopers out. Tonight they're focused on drunk driving, which they tell me is on the rise this holiday season. Their biggest concern, though, is just the sheer number of people out on the road. I know when we hit Cincinnati, it'll be a little busier, but I'm good. Scott Russell's got a big trip ahead of him. From Fort Huron, Michigan, it's about 50 miles outside of Detroit, going to Phoenix City, Alabama. The drive down I 75's been busy, but manageable. Um, really, our biggest issue is just overall volume. Sergeant Dexter Howard's been at work all day. Unfortunately, this time of year, with the amount of people out, uh, fatals are up. He was in Middletown for one of two deadly crashes today in Butler County. It's a tough start to the holiday weekend, and Howard says the last big travel weekend, Thanksgiving, was deadlier than 2013. Just be safe. Just wear your seatbelt. Slow down. Um, don't be drinking and driving. Um, bundle up. Stay warm. Have a safe holiday. Just be careful. There are a lot of troopers out this weekend. Just ask Scott Russell. A well-deserved reputation. A friendly reminder from someone used to just passing through. When I was 16, I was going to Florida with my family, and my dad said, you can speed in any state you want, just do not speed in Ohio. Reputation here, it would seem. That uh, OSP OVI task force that's out watching for drunk drivers actually started the week of Thanksgiving, and there's another group of troopers out this weekend as well. They are checking for people wearing their seat belts. We're live along I-75 in Butler County tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side. Bottom line, slow down, be safe. Thanks, Evan. The next few weeks are expected to break records for travel. AAA says more than 140 million people will travel between now and January 4th. Here's a bright spot. Very low gas prices, even dipping below two bucks in the tri-state.